Hey guys, well today to replace the shock on this Kia Soul. I think it's a bit of an interesting one, so that's all I'm going to say for now until we get this wheel off, and I'm going to show you why. So the first thing I do is remove this locking wheel nut, whilst the wheel is somewhat firmly still on the floor. Now with that out, we can get the jack out and secure that firmly and on an axle stand, getting the wheel off the rest of the way. So you probably noticed what the issue was, but if you didn't, you're about to find out now. That we rotted away and snapped off. This is all a bit of a mess. Split the CV boot down here. Hopefully the joints themselves haven't been damaged. It's just the boot that's split. It's ripped bits off. So yeah, I'm gonna clean this up as best as we can and hopefully save something. the drop link um, basically because then technically we can remove the whole shock we have to take the shock mounts off of the hub but yeah, let's just start with that, that drop link so we've got everything off believe it or not everything else come out easy like nothing was stripped nothing rounded Nothing was seized, it all just come off, which is surprising. But I am concerned about this joint because all the rest that's in it. So I'm probably gonna suggest replacing that anyway. And that drop link is bent, so we're gonna recommend changing that. Right now with everything underneath done, just gonna pop this off. This little cover here. I'm gonna screw it off and pop that off. Right, so we'll pop this off. Use this with the top nut there. Take our 17. Whoops it out. The condition of this is shocking. <laughs> right, now we've got the shock out, stripped it down, compressed the spring, spring off, give every uh, thing that would be reinstalling on the car a lick of rust proof paint, and we've assembled, reassembled that shock assembly. So let's just get it back on the vehicle now.
previously we are going to be looking at replacing that drive shaft i know somebody would say we well, just replace the joint but the inner joint popped out as well don't know how old the shaft is i don't want to replace the joint just to have to replace the inner joint in six months time anyway so we will replace the the shaft completely so i know that's perfect we will be replacing the drop link and then just take it from there there's a couple of issues with it it's an older vehicle you can see it's been used off road or something like that and it hasn't been kept in the best of nick so just take it as it comes Thank <laughs> you.